Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on syllabus statement 1.1.4 uh, and this will be on um, comparing the implementation of system using a client's hardware with hosting systems remotely and as a special teacher's note here on the syllabus it says we need to consider the positive and the negative of SAAS and I'll start it off with what is SAAS? It is software as a service. We'll get back to this later on. So before implementing the system uh, there are special things and requirements that you have to do. So first of all you have to understand the goals and this links back to 1.1.1 where it's um, where you start off with a new system and what you have to do so before implementing you also have to um, see how it benefits us implementing this SAAS system or does it actually meet goals And we have to know if training is required because it's a whole new system. And most importantly, you have to test and test and test this new system out. So I'm going to define the keywords in the syllabus statement, compare the implementations of system using our client hardware with hosting systems remotely. Host, hosting and remotely, hosting systems remotely. So first of all, remote. Do you guys know what uh, what the definition of remote is? So, remote is a computer operation that runs somewhere far away, like running on a server rather than running on a client or cloud storage. So it's popular to run these particular applications as web-based apps. Web-based apps. That means the software is stored and executed on a web server remotely. Um, and the client's browser behaves like a thin client. That's what uh, the remote definition is and explanation is. And we also can look back to the special teacher's notes and it says the drawbacks and the um, pros of SAAS which is software as a service and software as a service it's the definition is renting software on a temporary basis rather than selling the software or the software license so uh, browser-based software is very easy to distribute. It usually requires only a browser and an internet connection. Thus, companies can provide software very cheaply or free of charge or possibly some kind of subscription uh, like, let's say, iTunes Music where Apple sells music and other digital products and provides corresponding software free of charge. There are, for service for software as a service, sorry, SAAS, there are pros and cons. First of all, the pros might include low initial cost. It is easy to access. It's time saving. And the easy update, because it's software and not hardware. As we look back to the syllabus statement, compare the implementations of systems using clients hardware and then hosting systems remotely and the obvious drawbacks are privacy it may not be private at all and sometimes it may be vulnerable to hackers <clears throat> and the clients have no control over where the data is stored so this is the basic principle of comparing the implementations of system using a client's hardware with hosting systems remotely. 